the part of this that's not in my lesson right now. So this lesson is part of a like beginning of a unit question about or sorry beginning introduction to a unit on dramatic justice. Um, so this would be like the first day of just kind of introducing the unit. Um, so starting out with the idea of what is justice and the definition that we'll have for the class is the quality of being reasonable and fair in the administration of the law. Um, and then just a reminder that a visual text is information presented in the form of an image. Um, so, okay, so our learning targets today. Um, we have two learning targets, one that's kind of more about knowledge and one that's more about um, discussion. So our first is, I can interpret multiple meanings of the theme of justice in a visual text of Lady Justice and can support my interpretations with details from the text. And the second is, I can connect the topic of this discussion to universal themes. Um, so turn to the person next to you and just really quickly um, summarize these and just make a guess of what we're doing in class today. I want you guys to remember um, that when we're making interpretations, that we're supporting it with details. We're not just saying opinions, that we're really um, making sure we're pulling from the visual text. And then also that connecting the topic of the discussion, that's where you guys can bring in your own prior knowledge, your personal experiences, if it reminds you of anything um, you've seen in the newspaper or anything like that. Um, so here is our picture of Lady Justice. Um, I want you guys to turn to someone next to you and just really quick, the first thing you notice about this picture. She's blind. She's, She's a leader. Really cool looking solar. She can see it. She believes in equality. Okay. I can see that. Um, she is feeling quite her justice. I was going to say that. Yeah. Sword. Uh, she is clearly Greek. She's wearing a toga. She's wearing a toga. I think this has to go back to like justice is like a really long standing thing in the world to gender clothing and the sword. Alright, does someone want to share? Does someone want to share the first thing they noticed about this picture? She's blindfolded. Oh, sorry. Yes, yeah, so she's blindfolded. She's carrying a pretty big sword and it's double edged, so maybe it has to go with full. Okay. Alright. Her scale is balanced. Okay. So the three things that I noticed first about this are like you guys did the blindfold, the scales, and the double-edged sword. Um, so let's just kind of discuss what what these things could mean. Um, what do you think these different elements mean? How do they give meaning to the word justice? Um, so go ahead and we'll do a whole class discussion. So. Yeah. Well, the sword, especially with it being double-edged, kind of means like she's ready for like action, like to take action on something. So that's kind of playing into like the idea of our, our definition of justice. Okay. okay. So ready to take action. With, with the blindfold, it kind of states that she's blind to all things. It's all about the rules, and there's no other factors but the rules or the laws. If you broke it, you broke it. If you didn't kind of sense what is right versus the emotional yeah in the French Revolution version she's not wearing very much okay <laughs> so tell us more about the French Revolution version this yeah, is kind of a basic one I saw but I don't know it has a flag she's trying to it's, go it's similar to well, she's a symbol she's in a lot of different yeah. like, sometimes she's armed sometimes she has a flag sometimes she's just yelling usually she's not covered let's acknowledge mm -hmm. the fact that it's a woman yeah, very yeah. consistently across different kinds of Okay. So why do we think that justice is a lady? Anyone have any idea? Justice be a lady too. Maybe there's some kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> there's some kind of like... That's a way to do something. Maybe? Go ahead. Because I don't think in the Capitol building on the Rotunda there's like lady liberty. So, I don't know. 
Does anyone know the Greek connection? the goddess over divine law and order. Um, so we talked about how like every civilization civilization has different um, methods of justice, different ways they get to it. Um, we will be reading Antigone later in this unit, um, so we'll kind of circle back to that Greek mythology element of justice. Um, but so what else? The blindfold, the scales, the sword, what, how can you draw meaning? was holding it up, like ready to go. I think so, yeah. Because there are different versions where she has it held up ready to go. I think she's just showing it off. Because she's like, like, I can use this. Just letting you know that the sword's here. Okay. But she's holding yeah. up the scales, which are kind of like a symbol of like reason and, and equality. Like, and, and yeah, and equality and order and but if we were in a revolution, she would probably, you know, fighting for justice. She'd probably she, be raising yeah, that. I, I, she could be a Jedi. Let's go on that. So she <laughs> has this dangerous double-edged sword, but she's blindfolded. That kind of reminds me of, like, pinata gone bad. Um, <laughs> like, you're blindfolded and you're waving this sword around, so... How does that interaction play into meaning if she has this sword but she's blindfolded and can't see? Muscle memory. But how does she know what she's gonna hit? I mean, maybe someone's gonna help her. Like, yeah, like, like if she, she just goes forward. down, but someone puts someone in front of her. <laughs> well, that's okay. Yeah. So, like, who would put someone in front of her? The well, fighters of, for justice. So, well, so well, justice is people, right? Like, 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 I'm going to take you guys on totally not some place you're going. <laughs> but somewhere you study martial arts, like you stand in the center of the room blindfolded, and the idea is that you should be able to pick up where people are. So, like, we've done this. I've done this before blindfolded, and it's because you you learn to eliminate, you know, you've eliminated the, the fact that your sight, and you're picking up all of your other senses. And I don't know if that's anything to do with this, but I mean, I've no, done that, this. That makes thing. sense. That's like when one sense has been taken away, your other senses pick up the slack. Right. So maybe with that blindfold, she is able to, I don't know, listen and smell and feel better. I, mean, I don't know if she can taste better, but she might be. So well, maybe I, that does factor in. I don't know how the scale works either if she's blindfolded, how she's supposed to know. That's what the number two. <laughs> I, I was going to say, I think her being blindfolded and having that sword, she has to be very intentional with what she uses it for. And so it forces her to think about everything and, you know, like what is the most just force of action. And I'm not going to wave it around just willy nilly, killing everyone, everyone. You know, it's really thoughtful and you're gonna take that, you know, you're gonna use the scale to balance everything. My connection is that I don't think that justice is blindfolded in the United States because I think if we were to be truthful about how justice is divvied out in our country, that person would be standing with their eyes wide open and would wield the sword on people that looks like they fit the mold of being unjust. Hmm. 